Hey, Lord Vadim and it's good tomorrow. Welcome back for another video of Civ 6. We're going to continue the series, boys, with the parrots. Now, I said I wanted to do the, uh, like, We Happy Few series as a new Let's Play, but actually I'm not going to play this game. I decided to not play this game, boys, because I have to save my money and everything right now. I've got problems with my economy. I, I want to do, I want to be economic, so... I'm saving my money uh, for the uh, PS4 and uh, God of War, a game that's coming out next Friday. So we're just going to continue our two series, ongoing series right now, boys. Uh, I do have the plus one amenity for cities with a garrison unit. I'm not going to take that. Established governors with at least three promotions provide plus one amenity. Yeah, I don't really want to take that. So I'm not going to take it, boys just gonna leave it by the way it is um let's see what we got i guess uh we are at war of course with uh france that's right okay i for almost forgot what we were what we were doing we've got our two galleys right here taking care of france all right let's continue boys we also have bordeaux being, being um attacked by my catapult and an archer unit all right and we've got a scout that i quickly purchased at the end of the video right there okay we got a lot lots of stuff boys three traders everything we're doing great on the war the friends keeps asking me to be at peace with them but i'm not gonna accept because i know that i'm basically winning unless i'm like have one of their cities that not gonna make peace combat versus land uh, naval units nope what is this w which one is this um Oh, it's one of my quadruple ram actually. Oh well, uh, dif district defenses. I'm gonna do that since uh, right now I'm basically using them to bombard the shit out of them. So yeah, I'm just gonna use them for that. All right, let's go. Continue our bombardment, boys. Feel like we're doing a great job. You guys continue. There we go to continue the attack as well. I think um, this. They might be done in this video, boys. They might be. Uh, they are already... No, they're not in, with the religion right now. Oh, they, right now they are. Okay. So they are officially um, having our religion, boys. That's good. We're going to take Mar Marseille, boys, for sure. That's how, how much did the walls get bring down? Okay, pretty much uh, a lot. Let's go automated exploration right there. Okay. And what else do we have? We do have our swordsmen. I'm waiting for them. I'm not going to attack anybody with them unless the walls are really down for the count. All right. And I am, oh yeah, going to promote my catapult right here. Combat strength versus def uh, when defending. Combat strength versus land units. I'm going to do the grape shot. And I'm going to attack with the archer unit. Bordeaux boys, the city of Bordeaux. I am gonna need my swordsman unit right here. If I can on if I can only like build another unit, another swordsman unit, but I can't right now because I don't have iron. I don't have enough iron for another another unit like that. So the best unit aside from that is a warrior unit. I don't want warrior units because they're kind of we they're kind of useless right now. I don't know why I would like want them or not. I am probably gonna go for a settler because I kind of want to settle over here. I said I wanted to settle over that little island right there, which could have uh, could be really interesting for us, boys. I might might do it. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I got, I kind of want to save my money anyways right now, uh, though. Let's just skip the turn. Do I have any resources? Let's look around really quick, see if there's any resources we can build. There is this one, so we're gonna have to uh, quickly purchase with faith our bu a builder. So we're gonna need a builder for this resource. So that's one build. Okay, so that's one build. Any more builds? No, it doesn't look like it. Only one boy so far. All right. We do have a promotion for our archer unit. Range versus land and naval units. Nope. I'm going to uh, do this one. Garrison. We are going to continue on bombardment. Actually, we got a promotion for this one. So, 
Let's do that. Everybody's getting a promotion right now, boys. That's great. Really we're doing great right now. Okay. We do have something, though. New continent discovered, actually. Right here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. We got a new continent. And a new... What, what is that? Is that a city-state? That is a city-state. Non-Mandal. A trade route. I'm not going to make a trade route over to you, man. That's way too far. Alright. Uh, we do have a great person, though. That we can equip. So let me just make... Get him really quick. It's a great merchant. Nice. So the great merchant, where could I get him? Over here? He provides... Okay. Let me just get him over there, boys. There we go. Alright, we activated them. I don't know what... Ex I don't quite remember what the great merchant does exactly, boys. I think... Uh, well, we do have governor points, though, right now. But let's not focus on that. We got our catapult. Let's continue bombard them. I think now we should be okay to actually take Marseille before we take it let's con just continue to bombard my uh, Bordeaux boys because we before we take Marseille I really want to make sure that um, I get the governor title and everything that I get ready to focus on that little place okay okay we're good so let's see our government title we're gonna have four cities uh, soon enough Okay, so you know what? Since we're going to have two, four cities, I, I might as well attack the city. Might as well do it, boys. Alright. Taking the city. There we go. First real big win for us, boys. So, Marseille is going to be ours for sure. Let's see what can we can do with that. Since we Marseille is ours, I do want to keep it. Population of two. Number of districts. Only one district. Yeah, I do want to keep it because it's near the city, so it's way better for us. I'm going to keep... Uh, raising a city may give you a serious warming penalty. I don't have any... Uh, I wouldn't get any penalty for raising the city, but I want to keep it. I want to keep the city, boys. So we're going to keep it. And yeah, I think that's, that's all good. Let's just choose a, a production for now, right away. Choose a production of this place. Actually, let's just equip everything like we used to do. Like we're always doing. There we go. And now, we should do the granary stuff. Ancient, no, actually, uh, ancient walls. We're going to do the ancient walls, boys. Now, governor title. We're going to need one for that city. So, Victor, Castellan, Moksha. So, uh, educator, librarian, the science and whatnot, that's religious stuff. Increase uh, garrison combat strength. Then uh, acquire new titles in city faster. I'm going to get this one for Marseille, boys, our new city. We're going to have to switch the name up. I gotta have t I'm going to have to look that up, though. I'm going to have to look up what the new name should be. I guess we're gonna have to see, or I'm gonna have to look it up, boys. It's gonna be uh, Port Royal, boys. Port Ray, uh, Royal. There we go. Right there. That's the new name. The new stronghold for our city, boys. So hopefully everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna have to wait for the next turn, though, right now. We are still at war with, of course, these two jackasses who def uh, right here who decided to attack me, who decided to. Uh, basically declare war to me for some reason boys uh, Mongolia wants to give me open borders in exchange for some mercury and they want to give me some gold as well so I'm gonna accept that it's a pretty good trade Mongolia is doing some great trades with me boys they're giving me lots of money a uh, France really does want to make peace with me though um, I did get one of their cities I do not wish to de like Completely defeat them. They are willing to give me seven gold per turn. So Yeah, I Guess I could do that. I, I'm really close to defeating Bordeaux though uh, You know what? Yeah, let's accept the deal. Well, I will we'll accept the deal boys There we go. We're gonna be at peace with them. Thanks, Thanks for, for keeping the peace on the continent bully, bully for you. Okay, he's happy America's happy Okay, so yeah, we're doing good. So we just made peace with France. 
and uh, basically we we gain a territory by doing uh, before doing so so we did really great boys our swordsman has uh, a stuff so we're gonna give him tortoise we're gonna start advancing our units boys towards the uh, towards the basically the the enemy's territory because right now we are still at w at war with these two jackasses so we need to do something all right this uh, trader is actually done so we need to send him over to port royal boys to have a route right there so send him over there we do have oh a promotion for our archer units so we're gonna do volley there we go that's done can purchase with faith yeah 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 there we go we got all this post okay so much better for the construction and everything and since it's got a name uh, we can give him a name so we're gonna have our first pirate like no the second famous pirate <coughs> the first one was Anne Bonnie but she died in like two seconds or whatnot she was a warrior unit this one I'm gonna call him Jack Rakam boys Jack Rakam all right it's your new name so we got Jack Rakam right here we do have our archer unit we need to send him over there actually we do need to name him as well so we're gonna need to do that really quick uh, I don't have my galleys now that's a thing right now I kind of don't have my uh, my credit rooms I can't do anything with them just yet so yeah there's nothing I can do as of as of yet okay well, we're pretty we're doing pretty great anyways let's uh, new let's choose a new production of Okrake in it what should we do I think a builder would be pretty great choice boys I gotta be you gotta believe I do need to quickly purchase a builder but I don't have enough for two of those so I do have plenty of money though I can't get swordsman that's what's frustrating me right now so I can't get frost uh, swordsman for some reason I kind of want to get a builder for over here for a cracking inlet let's get a builder let's Let's yeah, let's get a builder real quick boys. It's three turns only. We really don't have anything to do over our capital. It's really quiet and everything. I I do have a lot of money so I can quickly purchase all these great stuff boys. There we go, Port Royal. You're gonna have all this uh, great stuff. Quickly purchase all of this. And the monument as well, you can have that. There we go. And you can also have a builder for at your disposition. All right, so Port Royal is gonna do great, boys. It's gonna have all sorts of crazy bonuses. We are gaining. We're all. Oh, we have still 170 gold right now, and we're gaining like almost 100 per turn. So we're doing really great. We're gonna be able to. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to use our quadrum for the war, so to attack a city or whatnot, but. Uh, I think we should be good enough with the units we already have. I'm just moving right now my units, boys. Um, I am going to continue to move my units, uh, catapult and everything. I've got two catapults, two archer units and one swordsman. We should be way good for def to defeat these guys. These guys don't even have walls right now. Uh, they do have a wall over there. and Okay, these guys might be a better pro bigger problem. But as for the rest, I mean, most of it is not going to be a problem whatsoever. Uh, we do have lots of resources we need to do. Two of those are mines. So two of those are production st stuff. So really, we need to start doing the production over Port Royal. Even though it's doing pretty great for itself, I gotta say. It's only population of two, but it's doing pretty great for itself. We are going to have in two turns the builder for a Kraken Inlet. And we're going to have... Population of 10 over, over Kraken in that in one turn. Nestle's really having a really tough time building up stuff. We actually need, in the next turn, we're going to have enough faith to purchase um, a builder, boys. We're going we're gonna to need to have that builder over there as well over Nestle because we do have some fish well resource. We do have a free city. 
I think something just popped up right there. The free city of Ostia succumbed to foreign pressure and asked to join Mapush. Interesting. So basically, th that was a free city, but they got annexed basically by uh, Mapush boys. Very interesting, very interesting. We go, don't have any, anything else going on right now, so we gotta wait, wait things out. I have 77 points out of 80 to be in the normal uh, age for the next one. I'm not gaining as much like points as I used to or the, uh, last time, but I still got plenty of turns to go ahead to do, boys. So let me just transition until all my units are done or ready for all this stuff until um, Listen, really something interesting a happens. Uh, there is div divine right right here that we just got. Okay. First large city, okay. Opened a city, so we do need a civic tree. Let me see here really quick. Naval tradition, we're gonna go for naval tradition, boys, okay. We do have a new government uh, that we can add, which is the monarchy, which we are probably gonna do unless Theocracy would be really good, but Monarchy does have three uh, military stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I'm going to go for Monarchy. Why not, boys? Monarchy. Now, of course, we can equip that like that over there. Um, 15% Aenyan before I do anything else. Um, I am going to equip... Okay, so that's towards production. Combat strength when fighting barbarians, not really. I chose my cards, boys, so I'm keeping this one, the CD uh, strength and whatnot. I'm doing uh, unit maintenance by one uh, gold, and I've got a plus 100% uh, production towards the defensive buildings, basically walls and everything. Uh, I still have these two, and I've got a plus 15% production towards uh, medieval and renaissance uh, wonders, so the, the wonders and basically and, and stuff like that. Okay, so we are a kingdom now, boys. We're basically a king, so that's really interesting. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm just going to keep my fleets. My, my fleet, I'm going to keep them right here. I'm going to make them sleep really quick because I can't do anything with them. I'm basically protecting my borders, my seas with them. But since my two enemies don't have sea, uh, don't control the seas or whatnot, I don't have anything to really worry about. Okay, so we've got plenty of stuff uh, that just happened, boys. Let me move my units first, though. Make sure that all my units are moved to the right places. I'm going to send on this side my swordsman, one archer, and a catapult. So my swordsman go all the way over there. It's going to take some time for him to go, but it doesn't matter because I need to bombard the cities first anyways. Send my uh, catapult, which is getting pretty... They're quick right there, pretty fast. I did build that resource over there, so let me send him over there and build the farm resource. There we go. We do have a trade route that is done over Nassau, I believe it was done. So now we need to send it over. Actually, Kumasi wants us to send it over, the, over to them. I might do that. Yeah, six gold. It does give us six gold plus one... Uh, culture and whatnot yeah i might do that they they really want me to do that so i guess we can do that that's the trade route that's going through there yeah sure why not let's get a trade route going right now boys for them okay um i do i did pretty purchase a builder over there so we can use him for the fi the um, the well resource over there nice over nasso to help them out really quick but we don't have uh, we we have a lot of money boys we're gaining a lot of money as well but aside from that nothing really we do have a great person that we got and it's actually a great admiral let me see where he is of course he's gonna spawn right here so we're just gonna retire him because he's not gonna be worth anything he just gave us a bunch of money though okay we're Officially going to be in a normal age on the next uh, turn, uh, no, the next age, boys, for now. Since we are um, at 81, we need to be at 82 of points, special points, in order to be at uh, golden age for the next turn as well. Uh, next, uh, next age as well. 
Right, I'm starting to be pretty close, boys. I'm actually in combat right now versus, well, against one of their units. I am gonna... Okay, so I already built that resource right there. I am right now going for the Government's Plaza, which is uh, over there, all the way over there. Uh, I am gonna give them, I guess, some territory. Is there, like, new stuff? Yeah, there is some resources over there, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go there and take that sheep resource. I do need uh, that sheep resource right there. Can I get it? I can't get that sheep resource, that's not good. I do want a, a resource or whatnot. Can I, I, I can't get them. What about this right here? Can I get like some resources or whatnot? Doesn't look like it, okay. Well, whatever, we're gonna have to figure this, uh, figure, figure this thing out, boys. We do have a catapult that's gonna be able to bombard the city right now. I need to... Oh. Shit, I can't do anything right now. Yeah, I need to move my catapult because they're gonna get destroyed right now. Yeah, I need to move my catapult back, boys, and let my, my archer unit uh, do the job. Right now, we're... We're having problems right now. Oh my god. What are you doing? Okay. Go for that fish resource, I guess. For that well resource. Actually, we're gonna do that. There we go. We're gonna use our money to uh, purchase all these tiles, boys. Really. Okay, we don't have anything else. I'm just gonna wait for the next turn. Uh, next turn, we're gonna be able to start bombarding the city. While they are too preoccupied for... To fight uh, one of our catapults. Hopefully they do not destroy our catapults. Because I really need to keep these two catapults. I can't always least, like rebuild or quickly purchase these units boys. Because I gain so much money really quick. But I really want to make sure that I don't lose them. They, he does have a bonus and whatnot. So it, he really would be valuable to us. I don't want to lose anything. Okay, let's start bombarding the city, boys. Start doing our, our job, basically. Boom. We are gonna... Get... Get back a little bit, I guess. Yeah, send back our units really quick. We're gonna go over here. And... Use our archers to attack these guys. There we go. Okay, so we got them. We got these guys, these swordsmen, we cleared the area. Now we're gonna be able to send, uh... Actually, I need uh, to give them a promotion for versus the units. There we go. So, we're gonna be able to send my units over there to the good position. Um, can I... Can I buy this? I can't buy this. I don't know why that... What, why that's a thing, boys. I can't buy anything, so... Just gonna have to... I guess, build some farms. Guess I gotta uh, build some farms, boys. There we go. Okay, India wants to make peace, boys, but that's not enough gold to make peace. That's just not enough. And considering the fact that I can easily defeat one of their cities, uh, like, and destroy them, uh, destroy it, I'm gonna do it. Considering that. Unless really they... Like, it's gotta be at least, like, seven gold per turn or something Remember like that that they're willing to give me. Too. Crossbowmen, so we got crossbowmen done, machinery done. We got also naval tradition the done, boys. Has both Civic completed. Okay. We got all this good stuff and we can, of course, we can start upgrading, like, our units, our crossbowmen units into the, um... Uh, we can upgrade them into crossbowmen, but I'm not gonna start doing that just yet. We can, uh, I guess... Uh, give a promotion to this guy, so we're gonna do that. We are gonna start going over here. Same thing more for my catapult. Actually, send my warrior unit first because otherwise he couldn't, he wouldn't be able to move. All right, we're really close, boys. We unfortunately couldn't like really bombard anybody except from with our archer, but that's okay. Lots of wars being declared, boys. Uh, we need a new research and a new culture stuff. Let me see what we, we could do in six turns contraction, but I really don't think it's important. I really don't think it really matters. So let's just do military tactics, I guess. 
Good, good py pikemen. So we can, uh, could get that. Actually, you know what? No, let's do construction because if we don't get construction, we can't get uh, the bonus, the better walls. So I'm gonna get that done. A federalism now. We're gonna get that. We do have a new envoy, I guess. I think. Yeah, we do have new envoys. So already have these guys as our suzerains. I think we're good on that part. Uh, I do want Kumasi as my suzerain as well. And I think that's all we can do, really. Yeah, okay. So Kumasi just declared war because they are now our suzerain as well. Nice. So Kumasi is going to be able to help me out a lot, boys. They're right here. They're going to be able to help me out. We've got a production that's been finished over a Port Royal, boys. We can go for Aqueduct, I guess. Uh, we're not going to go for Wonder because it's going to take too much time. But an Aqueduct would be really good for us. So let's go uh, do that right here. And we do need a builder to do something right here. We don't have any resources that we can really build. Oh, there is this lumber mill resource. There we go. More production. Give us as much production as possible. Nice, a 32 production. Really, we're producing like crazy over here. We do have new stuff. Let's just look at them, I guess. Under the arbor, not really, not, that's not interesting. Okay, no, not nothing really interesting, boys. Let's continue. All right, now India does have a lot of units, boys. They do have an army, an army, uh, contrary to the to the um, others like to France which didn't have any armies whatsoever to really protect them India does have an army boys to protect them so we gotta be careful about that let's just start attacking them we're gonna attack the that catapult with our archers basically we're gonna take them down with our archers and we are gonna continue to b the bombardment basically with our uh, second catapult over there in position how much is the wall right now going down? Okay, pretty. It's going down pretty, pretty easily. There we go. With our archers as well being a uh, pressure. Of course, it would be pr better if we had like the uh, quadrium to help us out. But we can't always have the quadrium to help us out everywhere. We could get another chamber, ancestral hall, warlord's throne. But I kind of want to get these pro yeah, these done right here, these wonders done. So I am going to do that. I'm going to do the Colossus, I guess. Plus gold, more gold. This would give us culture. I don't care culture. I don't care faith culture. Not really. Yeah, I'm going to get the Colossus is the most interesting one. So let's get the de that one. Ten turns to do it. We do have a point. So I guess we could give it. It's only after already have three points so we could give it to let's see a loyalty double engine C bonuses commercial lab we're gonna uh, promote this one um, plus three gold per turn for each foreign trade route yep there we go plus three gold per turn that's gonna give us even more gold boys unbelievable we're doing really great I would wish to have like crossbowmen's and whatnot right now to be able to change my ar uh, archers into crossbowmen's, but I can't do that because it's I would ha I would need them to go all the way back. I need them in the war right now. I really need them in the war, so let's not focus too much on that. Let's continue on bombardment, boys. Continue our bombardment with the catapult. Boom! There we go. We have a bunch of, like we have a bunch of um, of peace and war that's been declared. That's pretty interesting. I do have this archer that needs to start uh, continue the assault over the city. There we go. And I do have that catapult, which I think in the next turn is going to be able to attack. Not right now. Not just not yet though. But then the next turn is going to be able to attack. We can name the like that archer unit and that catapult unit. I don't know what to name them. I guess I could name him uh, Steed Bonnet. There we go. Steed Steed 
Bone. There we go. So there is one name right here. I'm gonna continue to bombard with this unit right here. So we've got we got three big pirates right here basically attacking. I can't name anybody Blackbeard because Blackbeard is actually our leader, so can't do anything right now. Let's just fortify because in the next turn we're gonna be able to start attacking with that catapult as well. And that city is gonna be in big trouble, boys. Big big trouble. Kumasi is defending themselves pretty well. You can see what I was talking about when I was saying like they have really a, a kind of a, a, a big army and they have like elephants and whatnot with them which is crazy okay india is willing to make peace with us in exchange for eight goals per turn boys now that is a lot that is a lot and i think i'm going to do that because i don't care about india they're really far away from me so Let's make peace, boys. Let's make peace with them. I am at war now. Officially, I'm at war with only two. Uh, only this guy right here. So we're going to have to send our units. What I'm going to do, I might send them. Oh, See, I can't really with go from that side, I think. Feudalism is done. All right. We have yep. Okay. We got all this. Blah, blah, blah. All that peace done. I kind of want to get the crossbowmen, so I want to. I'm going to send back my archer units, not my catapults. My catapults are going to continue to go, uh, to go from that position. They're going to continue to move um, towards the other enemies. And I guess, yeah, I want to send back our archer unit, boys, because um, I I really want to. I really want them to have. Uh, the ability to uh, basically I want I want them to be crossbowmen so that we that's really important to me okay let me see we need to choose a new civic though boys um since we finish with feudalism mercenaries uh, guilds I'm gonna uh, do guilds okay we don't have anything else going on right now we do have new stuff and friends did um by the way, France did uh, denounce me for some reason. I don't know why they would do that, but whatever. Okay. No, we don't have anything really big, that big of an interesting position. Yeah, I think we gotta wait, boys. We gotta wait things out. And we should be okay. Really, I don't want to make war with these guys because I'm not beside them. And it's really annoying, boys. But does it's not like I really have a choice, don't I? I kind of want open borders. Just give me some gold. I'm not going to give you that amount of gold per turn. No, that's not going to happen. No, that's not going to happen, buddy. I'm not going to give you that much gold. What about you, uh, America? Can you give me anything uh, for open borders? Gold per turn. Okay. What if I don't ask this? What would you give me? Never mind. W would you give me something, man? I'm not gonna give you freely stuff. What the fuck is wrong with the people, boys? What the hell is wrong with m most of these peoples? They want stuff freely. Alright, so I'm just gonna end the video right here, boys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I'm gonna see you guys for the next one. Remember to hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.